being so full that then you can give away. I think that that's something that people don't really think about when, when you reach a certain amount of, whether it be material good or emotional enlightenment, it's something that you actually want to give away. And that was something consistent with uh, Gautama Buddha was that once he reached enlightenment, he actually wanted to give it away. He didn't want to hold on to it. And that's something we do with happiness as well. When you're as happy as you possibly could be, you actually want to give that to other people and you want to bring people in to experience that. It's, it's, a, it's so counterintuitive to what people might think about happiness and that experience is that you actually, you actually don't want to keep it. You don't want to hold on to it. You really do want to allow other people to come into that emotional sphere. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I completely agree. And it's, it's, it's such a better feeling mm-hmm. giving from that full place. And um, I always look at, you know, so the infinity symbol. Mm-hmm. So I, I, the way I look at the infinity symbol is one side is giving, one side is receiving. And the, they're like pipes, right? And they fuel each other. And the idea is like, you know, sometimes some of us have blocks in receiving, which also gives us a block in giving because we're not fully tapping into the, the middle, the middle, right? Mm-hmm. Which is where the power is. And so the idea of the more we give, the more we push that pipe to a point where if we just keep giving, there is so much coming to us mm-hmm. in ways that we don't even know that just clears the pipe. And then that's where the, that's where the beauty of life is. It's just giving. And um, I was, I was sharing with some of my, I run this like uh, group program online, you know, sharing with them how giving like, especially right now and what's happening in the world, giving isn't just money it's not just food it's it's literally our energy it's a smile it's you know a compliment it's you know ev- everyone a lot of people are stressed out right now a lot of people are suffering people no not uh, yeah there is suffering happening in the world mm-hmm. and if if it's one small thing if it's one small act if it's um a compliment uh an acknowledgement anything like that's that's what brings light into the world you know, like I, 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 th- I, I always thought like, you know, when we're convinced what giving is, it's like, oh, you have to donate to charity or you have to do this. And those are all great things. But what about people who don't have the means to do that? Mm-hmm. And, you know, um, in Victoria, there's a lot of, uh, there's a, there's a, a large homeless community here. And I, I saw this one man on the, uh, on the street and he had a sign that said usually you know it's like hey spare some money or some food and his sign said life is beautiful don't forget to smile and what a beautiful lesson because i was sitting there i'm like here's a man who has nothing seemingly has nothing Mm -hmm. and he just wants to share whatever he has whatever he has and that currency that he's sharing is something we every single human being on this planet has that currency and an infinite access to that currency if they're willing to 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 believe that Mm -hmm. and no not everyone has the same access to money not everyone has the same access to resources absolutely not but we all have the same access to love and i i i think it's really beautiful because I've learned to let go of the money currency and surrendering to how the abundance is going to come in um, in other forms, mm-hmm. and that's been that's been a big lesson for me lately. And it's been it's been really beautiful. Like I, there's been so many times where I'm just giving, and I'm like, oh shoot! Like and my ego kicks in, right? It's like it's like I'm giving. What am I going to receive? What am I going to receive in return for this? Or like feeling all good about myself because I get, you know, but it's the practice is like giving so much that it's, and I'm speaking to myself while I'm saying this, giving so, so much that we don't even have time to think about receiving. Um, Cause I believe it is that infinity symbol is everything. You know, it's, it's, yeah. How did you start to break through that? So there's a, there's an old painting that I really like, and it's called the wheel of samsara wheel of Yama. And it's mm-hmm. the, the wheel of life and death. I, I did a lecture on it a while ago and it was one of my favorite parts was to psychoanalyze that painting. And in one of the lower quadrants, so it's 
essentially it's the the god of time and the god of death which is one and the same hovered over a wheel and there are six spokes six main spokes and each spoke represents a part of life and the lower half are the i would say they're either hell or purgatory depending on where you are in the spoke so the very bottom is hell and then on either side of that are different types of purgatory and one of the forms of purgatory is the realm of the predo or the realm of the hungry ghost is the the translation english and in that realm there are people that are they have very big bellies and their throats are constricted so they can't eat mm. but they still hoard the food and so there are a few different ways that you could interpret that one of which i think is from an addiction perspective which i'll be talking with a friend of mine about later um but the way that i would interpret it in this conversation is that it's the amount of energy that people are able to give and receive and there's a sense of there's a sense of narcissism that happens within that realm because people aren't able to take in energy from others and they're holding all of their energy into themselves mm -hmm. and in that way they're constricted and also full at the same time and so that's what happens when we we don't reciprocate energy with one another is that we become so bloated and and pent up and it's it's a little bit of a paradox you wouldn't really expect it i think that's kind of what you were experiencing with that where you give something and you immediately expect it to come back to you you're always asking mm -hmm. what do i get what do i get what do i get but it sounds and correct me if i'm wrong but the experience that you had is that by giving without the anticipation or expectation of reciprocation that was actually more valuable to you than what the latter would have been which is you hoarding things and not giving energy to others and in that sense you don't get energy back and and as you said it's that's kind of the block in the infinity symbol 100 percent, 100 percent. and i and as you were saying that i was thinking of like if that person is a, is an infinity symbol it's like one side is so full and the other is completely closed mm -hmm. so it's not really infinity symbol it's just it's just block it's just going back and forth like this right yeah um yeah 100 percent. and you know it was, it was interesting the other day i had this experience where i because <clears throat> that's where i'm trying to uh, uh deprogram within myself because if you think about it that's conditional love it's like i'm loving you so that i receive something in return mm -hmm. and if if my goal is to bring my heaven to earth i it's it's about un like unconditioning the conditions I, I believe I, uh, I've, I've taken on. Um, and what I've learned was I was, I was giving to someone and the message I received was you are, you are nothing but the light that you are giving. And any time that I uh, believe that I am, how do I even say this? Any time that I believe that I am something else, it's just my ego. Mm -hmm. And the idea is that anytime I hold myself back from giving to someone, because we all have those thoughts. It's like you see that person who needs help and you're like, ah, no, it's going to look weird or it's going to do this or whatever, which is just our ego. But if, if everyone, if I don't want to say everyone, if I just keep giving in every opportunity that I have, I'm, I'm being the light that I am, which is not Vince. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. It's, and it's such a, it's such a, uh, um, a, a funny thing to think about when we're like, what do you mean not you? Like, but the idea is like, we're all underneath. We're all the exact same element, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and the best way to practice that element is to give it. 